This organic chemistry exam question focusing on the electrophilic addition mechanism from the OCRA specification in A-level chemistry is very short but sweet. I think this is an unusual level of response question, but it is a great way to uh, confuse candidates with um, what functional groups they're meant to be using in a reaction equation, but also with an unfamiliar electrophilic addition which uses an unsymmetrical electrophile, which you then need to use the Pauling electronegativity values to determine the dipole on. So whilst this will look like a very brief answer, it is a surprisingly taxing question to approach and get started with if you're not confident with what functional groups on this methyl cinnamaldehyde are actually meant to be reacting with the iodine monochloride. Let's take a look at my model answer for this exam question. All right, so as I mentioned, this is from the 2018 OCRA chemistry exam in A-level chemistry, paper two. And what we've got here is a structure of methyl cinnamaldehyde, and it's reacting with iodine monochloride, which is ICL, by electrophilic addition. The reaction mixture produces a mixture containing two different organic products. This is a surprisingly module four level of response exam question in a paper two exam. There are also on here, though, some functional groups that you do not want to go anywhere near for this particular walkthrough. We don't want to go anywhere near the phenol. Uh, we don't want to go anywhere near the benzene ring bit just here. Nearly called it phenol. Uh, we don't want to go anywhere near this aromatic ring just there. And we don't want to go anywhere near this aldehyde group just there. We are strictly focusing on the alkene group. But unless you have that maximum confidence going into this exam question, you might think you're maybe, uh, meant to be reacting parts of this ring or maybe every thing on here, you've got to go in with that clear focus that electrophilic addition is for alkenes only. And so I am going straight in on the middle of the structure and not letting myself get distracted, particularly by this Kekulé representation of the aromatic ring over there. Those alkene groups are not going to react like the one in the middle. Now, you've also been provided with the electronegativity values for chlorine and iodine using the Pauling scale. And you've been given this because what you need to decide as part of your answer is which end of your electrophile, which is the ICL, is going to be delta plus and delta minus respectively. And as you can see here, the more electronegative an element is, the more likely it is to be that delta minus. And that's how I've made this allocation just here. Now, we've also been told that there are two different possible organic products, and one of them is more likely than the other, and this is your major versus minor. This is your Markovnikov rule that comes up inside module four for the alkene topic. This is what I mean about this being really weighted towards that module four material. You've also been told that in your mechanism, you're able to draw the phenyl group just as C6H5. If that wasn't even more of a clue that you're not meant to be reacting the phenyl group, that benzene ring parts of the molecule, um, then I don't know what is. So I'm going to outline the mechanism here, and I'm going to make the major product. It didn't actually matter which one you made in the mechanism. You could make the major or the minor. You just need to make it really clear which one is the major and which one is the minor in a later part of your answer. But I went with the major because I felt like that was the bigger angle of the question. So here I've got my regular electrophilic addition mechanism, but notice here the electrophile. I've got my ICL with the delta plus and delta minus in the correct positions based on the Pauling electronegativity values that were given by the table. I also have to be very careful with my intermediate here. I need to make sure that the iodine has gone over here to the left. And since I'm making the major product, I want to make the more stable carbocation intermediate here. And so this is a carbon atom with a positive charge bonded to three other carbon atoms directly. The other carbon atom here was bonded to, um, well, it was bonded to the other carbon just here, but mainly it's got here this H and then the uh, aromatic ring just there. I've then got my major product demonstrated, which is formed from that more stable carbocation intermediate. If I was to look at the alternative minor product, this carbon atom, as I've already mentioned, had it been the one with the positive charge, would have only been bonded to two other carbon atoms directly. It would have also been bonded to an H, and that makes it a secondary carbocation, which is less stable. What we don't want to say is this is the major product because it is more stable than this minor product. That is absolutely a massive misconception. We want to make it really clear that the major product is formed using a more stable carbocation intermediate than the minor product is. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope it has made a difference. But before you go, I do need some help. Please leave this video a like before you go because it really does help support my channel and let YouTube know I still exist. 
There's loads of good stuff around the screen now and links to my other video content in the description down below. So make sure you check that out before you head off. Until next time though, everybody, happy revising.